Welcome back to the Sandbox, and welcome back to Camp Buddy. I'm so glad you came by to play. I'm excited to uh, continue our adventures here with the gang, our cabin mates. So, uh, last episode, we so we're on a camping trip away from the formal camp, we're pitching tents out here on the prairie, and uh, we all slept together in one big bed last night, which was... Uh, pretty awesome. And uh, we wake up this morning and everyone seems to be packing up their stuff like we're breaking camp and heading back. Hunter says, it seems everyone has packed their things sooner. Huh? What's going on? If I remember all schedule correctly, we should have another activity this morning. Ha! These fools don't even know what's going on. That's what you get for waking up so late. Look at them and their bed hair. Ew. A pity. We've awakened from our slumber way before any of you. Not to mention, we're already dressed. Look how prim and proper we are. They're obviously not nearly as punctual as us, Taiga. Even you, Natsumi? What's going on with you? I thought you were the best scout around. No, no, that's not... Katero's incompetence is certainly contagious. Hey, who said you could talk to Katero like that? Wolfboy, say something. Yoichi is apparently sleeping. <laughs> you people are hopeless. If I were you, I'd be rushing to pack up, unless you want to be the only ones left behind. I, I don't understand. If our schedule was correct, we should only be leaving three hours from now. Did one of the Scoutmasters change the schedule? We're always one step ahead of everyone here. Don't forget that. Thanks to Taiga, we acquired some reliable information last night. Good luck on our walk back to Camp Buddy, in your pajamas. Hear it from the Scoutmaster yourselves, losers! Come on, Edward. Lee. I really hate those three. I swear I'm this close to beating them up. H hero We shouldn't involve ourselves in a fight. You're big enough, Natsumi. Plus, we outnumber them. I'm sure we could totally kick their butts. Violence never solves anything. Would you fight them and in the process stoop down to their level as well? Hey, wolf boy, would you get up already? We can't let them get away with this. Yuichi just continues sleeping, standing up. <sighs> it's all right, hero. Let's not waste our time getting angry at them. Oh, you know I can't say no to you, Katero. Fine, I'll let this one slide. He really is in love with us. <laughs> Poor Hero. I feel bad I didn't pick him. I feel bad I didn't pick Hunter. I I feel bad I didn't pick all the, the other three except for Yuichi. Are we really heading back to camp already? I really thought we'd spend a lot more time outdoors. I'm not entirely sure. I guess we could ask the Scoutmaster once he's in a position to say. Attention, everyone. There has been a change in plans. Our trailblazing and scouting activities have been cancelled for today. For those who have not changed into their trekking gear and packed up their things, please do so immediately. We'll be heading back to Camp Buddy shortly. I'm sorry, everyone, but... This is an urgent matter. I hope you all understand. So, it's true. We are going back to camp. This is quite strange. They don't usually cancel big activities like this unless there's bad weather. But, I guess, orders are orders. It puzzles me why Taiga and the others knew about it before you, Natsumi. Yeah! You're like Scoutmaster Yoshi's right-hand guy. I really don't know. I'm sorry. 
I guess that doesn't matter for now, guys. Let's get changed so we can catch up with everyone. Right. We don't want to get left behind. After we got dressed, we marched our way back to camp. As we were marching back, I couldn't help but notice the troubled look on Scoutmaster Yoshi's face. Was there something serious going on? Well, maybe I shouldn't stick my nose in it too much. Ah, it's kind of nice to be back. Yeah, I really wanted to explore more, though. Don't worry, Katero. I'm sure we'll have another activity to make up for it soon. Yeah, look at the bright side. The mess hall is just over there. We can eat as much as we want. You won't believe how hungry I am from all that walking. Uh, uh, hold on. Who's that? Where have you all been? Sir Goro, I... You're here already. I knew it. You left campgrounds again without my permission. What kind of scout master are you? Sir Goro, I can explain. Have you not learned your lesson already? Dad, please, not in front of the campers. In my office, no, Yoshinori. R right. Uh, everyone, please return to your cabins and get some rest. You must be tired from all that walking. You may all have the rest of the day to yourselves, so try and make it a productive one, okay? All right, everyone heard that, right? Let's move, let's move. Is everything all right, Natsumi? Yeah, what was with that scary old guy? Who is that man, Natsumi? That is Mr. Goro Nomoru. He's Scoutmaster Yuri's father, as well as the founder of Camp Buddy. Oh, he's the guy who started Camp Buddy? He doesn't give me the same friendly vibes as Ms. Yuri, though. He seems really scary. He comes here occasionally to check on things, and of course to visit his daughter, too. Oh, I see. Why was he scolding Scoutmaster Yoshi, then? I'm sorry, Keitaro, but that is beyond my knowledge. What I do know is that Sir Goro doesn't have the best impression of Scoutmaster Yoshi. No kidding. I suppose you could say Sir Goro doesn't like how Scoutmaster Yoshi runs this place. I don't get it. Scoutmaster Yoshi is such a nice person. And I don't think he did anything wrong. Are we going to be in trouble too? Is there something we should do? No, Hunter. This is a private matter for the Scoutmasters. None of you have to worry about this. I hope everything is all right. Are you sure? It seems kind of serious. Seems like you're hiding something from us. Eh, let's not make such a big deal out of it. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm going with, it seems kind of serious. I'm not sure which of these actually would be um, Yuichi's choice. Maybe, I'm thinking probably this one. This sounds like Hunter. This, I don't know who this sounds like. This sounds kind of like Natsumi. All right, I'm going to go with the what I think is Yoichi's answer. Yeah, you know, let's just not make such a big deal out of it. I guess it's not our problem to worry about. Let's not make such a big deal of it. I'm sure it's nothing, guys. Let's just focus on what we should do today. Wait a minute. It's weirdly quiet today. Where the hell is Wolf Boy? He's asleep over there. Standing up. Hmm. Since when did he get changed? All this talk is making me hungry. We're allowed to go to the mess hall, right, Natsumi? 
Yeah, it's open most of the time. I'm sure Sir Aiden's already prepared something delicious for you there. Hey, let's go eat for real. You guys coming? I'll pass. My legs are too tired. I'll, I'll just stay here and rest. How about you, Natsumi? Oh, I'm sorry, but I have some chores to finish first. What? But it's our free day! Yeah, Natsumi, you should relax for now. Scoutmaster Yuri told us to try and be productive, remember? Don't worry, I'll relax as soon as my chores are all finished. Oh well, suit yourself. Me and Katero are going ahead. Uh, wait, hero. Whew. That was a close one. What was close about it, Natsumi? What are you not telling us? Mmm, I can smell the mess hall from here. Last one there is a rotten egg. <laughs> hey, hero, wait up. Even after all that hiking, he's energetic as... How many times do I have to tell you? You're just wasting your time. Where's that coming from? I know I'm wrong, but I just want to show the new recruits a, a good impression. Oh, that sounds like... Enough! You had your chance. If it wasn't for Yuri backing you up, I would have already gotten rid of you a long time ago. And then I find out you went outside with the campers yesterday without any proper permission from me. But... You always but this and but that. You told me Springfield's batch was going to be the last one, and yet you bring in two more. Are you out of your mind? But they're good boys. They won't be anything like the previous ones, I swear. If you could just give me one last chance, please. They're really different this time. I don't know if I can trust you again, Yoshinari. You've always neglected everything I ordered you to do. Don't you realize how much trouble you've caused with last year's incident? It was such an embarrassment. And based on your recent actions, it seems to me that you want to screw things up all over again. But I promised to keep them, sir. You still won't listen to me! But, sir, please, let me have another chance. I want to make up for my shortcomings as a scoutmaster. I have already given you this last chance. But if you're not going to listen to me, I'll be forced to close this camp down for good. This is getting bad. I shouldn't stay here anymore. There you are, Katero. Oh no. Hey, Katero, what are you doing there? Shh, Hero, be quiet. Huh? What's going on? I was waiting for you at the mess hall for a while. You totally ditched me. I was just about to follow you. Behind the Scoutmaster's cabin? The mess hall's in the other direction, you know. Yeah, I was exploring. Oh, really? Hmm. Um, you're a really bad liar, Katero. I've known you for so long, I'd know if you were lying to me. Come on, tell me what you're really doing here. Oh, what have we here? Scoutmaster Yuri. Suspicious behavior. Hiding in an unusual spot? I can explain. I was... You two must be on a secret date! Huh? No, no, Miss Yuri. That's not what this is. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, what brings you two here then? Uh, we were just, uh... 
Caterer was just taking pictures of all the pretty flowers in the area, Miss Yuri. Right, Caterer? Um, dude, you're totally saving my bacon. I owe you a... Caterer, help me out here. I'm trying to cover for you. Partners in crime, I see. No. Well, I guess I should just leave such private matters between friends. But if you two need a little privacy to have fun, I do know a place. M Miss Yuri. But in any case, I was looking for you, Catero. I wanted you to have this. It's your very own journal. You can write anything you want here. Isn't it a lot easier if you just gave us our phones back? But you won't be able to cherish it as much if you don't write it with your own hands. That's totally not true. But, you know, whatever. She just doesn't want to give us our phones. Just like how Katero's camera prints out captured moments instantly. It feels more sentimental that way. I've been observing you for the past days, and I always see you use your camera to take pictures of anything that interests you. You seem to be the kind of person who cherishes wonderful memories. So I figured it was a good idea to give you this journal. Wow. You can attach your photos here whenever you write an entry, too. Getting your feelings written down on paper feels much better than keeping them to yourself. Isn't that right? Oi. Uh, yes, I agree, Ms. Yuri. Thank you so much, Miss Yuri. I promise I'll write down the whole story of my summer camp here. Oh, I can start with the day we joined. It's going to be my personal camp buddy journal. Oh, I'm glad you like it. Now you two run along. Make your day productive. Oh, we will, Miss Yuri. Hey there, bros. Oh, it's bro Aiden. Uh, you're not butt naked today? Bro? <laughs> I just finished cooking everything. You really look like a scoutmaster when you have some clothes on. Haha, <laughs> I know, right? Oh, since you're here, you should get some lunch. Why is he posing like that? Bro, tone it down. Just... You don't have to sell so hard. You're hot. We all know that. Just play it cool, dude. Oh, I'm starving. What did you make today? Oh, you boys are going to love today's menu. It's fried chicken. You guys better hurry up while there's still some left, though. All right. I'll go fall in line now, Katero. You know, your friend's really energetic, Katero. Ah, no one can stop him when it comes to food. You know, it feels good to see all those campers enjoying what I made. Aren't you getting tired, Sir Aiden? <sighs> Actually, it's super exhausting. I have to do the laundry after this, you know. And I gotta wash every bed sheet from all the cabins. Thank goodness this place has washing machines. You do the laundry, too? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Wow, you must really love Camp Buddy, Sir Aiden. Well, yeah, dude. I mean, I guess I've grown to love this place as well. W what do you mean? Well, the reason I'm here is because I need that extra income from my studies. They pay me very well to do all these chores. The more I do, the higher Yoshi pays me. Wow. You're working so hard so that you can study? It's kind of ironic, isn't it? I'm working on a job to get a job. No, Sir Aiden. I, I think it's really an inspiring story. Oh? I'm an inspiration now, eh? Yeah, you're really amazing, Sir Aiden. Oh, you're too kind, bro. You know what? I never get that much appreciation here. You really made my day, little dude. Oh, whoops. I think I have to go now. I have to do the laundry. Talk to you again, Catero. Oh, uh, all right, Sir Aiden. 
Hero's still falling in line for our lunch. I should get a seat for the two of us. Hmm. Almost all the tables are occupied again. Let's see. Oh! It's Cito and Felix! Maybe I should try asking if I could share tables with them. Unfortunately, playtime is over for today, so you're going to have to come back uh, to see how this further develops and see if we can unravel this mystery of what's happening here at the camp and why does Aiden have almost every single job <laughs> and Cito and Felix kind of showed up out of nowhere. What's their story? Lots of good questions we still need answers to, so come on back. We're going to see you next time.